Hey everyone! Good morning! How's your morning this morning? Let me tell you, we, it's Kate and Warren here, we have had an insane morning. It's been crazy, hasn't it? Can you say hi? Can you say hi? So, um, it's been a little crazy here, just gonna be honest. Um, we are dealing with a three-nager. So, um, you guys that are moms, you can relate to that. But we made it. We said 10 a.m., so here we are. Good morning. Tell me where you're coming in from. <laughs> hey, hey, Christy. Hey, Crystal. Hey, hey, Lauren. Lauren's excited. Hey, New York. Um, hey, Ohio. Hello, hello. Um, so, for those of you who don't know me, hey, Florida. Hey, Mexico, UK. I'm Kate. This is my... Um, youngest Warren. I'm a busy mom of two crazy boys um, and I help women across the globe to live healthy, happy, and balanced lives. Hey Claire, hey, excited to talk to you in just a little bit. Um, yeah, Warren's so happy. <laughs> so I help women learn how to live healthy, happy, and balanced lives. We talk about training, we talk about nutrition, and we talk about the missing piece of the puzzle, which is, can you tell them what it is? It's your hormones. Oh my goodness, moms, hormones. They play a big role in your fitness and your fat loss. So um, today we are talking about supplement series day number two. Um, no, I don't, I don't do CrossFit. Um, and I actually do my own workouts. I have a degree in exercise physiology, so you can check them out, beyondfitlife.com. Um, today we're talking about supplement series day number two. I'm just going to be feeding Warren some blueberries while we chat. I think that'll keep him. Um, and you can find me on social media, Beyond Fit Mom, on Facebook and on Instagram. And um, yeah, so I, I gave you the sneak peek about what we're going to talk today about, and it's BCAAs. But first, if you're a new viewer, will you type new? TJ's going crazy saying, hi, Warren. Can you say hi, TJ? Say hi, TJ. Look right here. Hi, TJ. Hi, TJ. <laughs> um, so if you're new to the Beyond Fit Life scope, will you type new? Hey, guys. Hey, okay. So I'm so glad that you are here. Um, if you're a sister, will you type sister? Hey, Ashley. Hey. Um, yeah, okay. So we have lots of new ladies on. We're so glad you're here. You can find out more about, I think that means we need another blueberry, about what we do and who um who i am and how you can download a calendar that tells you exactly what to do each day of the week so sisters who are on hey marissa hey mag hey 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 um did you do your stretching and foam rolling today i got mine in i got mine in this morning and then i actually have my coffee and my bcaas so um did you get yours? Yeah, you are, Ashley, absolutely. Um, trainer to be, Rachel, woohoo. Um, so, where did I leave off? Okay, so I did my stretching and my foam rolling, and then I had my magic favorite secret weapon supplement, which is BCAAs. So let's talk about, should we talk about BCAAs? Do you think we should talk about them? What do you think? Do you wanna say hi to everybody? Can you say hi? <laughs> uh, so, by a show of hearts, how many of you are familiar with BCAAs? How many of you know what BCAAs are or have used them? Let me see, I'm going to change this real quick. Okay. Okay, yeah. So, um, how many of you have no idea by a show of hearts? You have no idea what BCAAs are. When I say BCAAs, you're like, what? Yay, you learned about them from me. Great. Good. Okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> so to keep Warren occupied, we're going to give him blueberries. So for replay viewers who are watching this, maybe somebody's going to be watching this via YouTube, um, or for everybody who's on live, we're going to talk today about my secret weapon, and that is BCAAs. So there are not many supplements that I recommend. To be completely honest, I think a lot of supplements are kind of a scam. And I, and I just say that because I love you guys and I want to be real with you. Um, I am very careful about what I spend my money on. And when it comes to supplements, 
I think a lot of things are overpriced and they promise quick fixes that um, really are, are kind of just designed to get your money. So we say like we don't want expensive pee. And what I mean by that is simply that, um, you know, I'm gonna save my money. Like if I'm just taking a pill um, that's gonna come out in the toilet, <laughs> you know, that's just cash down the drain. So I'm giving you blueberries as fast as I can. So I'm all about being honest with you. Um, we talked yesterday about my first favorite, and this is something that I think every woman who's focused on fitness and fat loss, yeah, expensive pee, I think you need to use protein. And that's very important. And BCAAs are my second. And I'm gonna share three reasons today why I love BCAAs and why they're so beneficial for fitness and for fat loss. So BCAA supplements, they're really effective for fat loss because they help you fight both hunger and cravings. Okay, so here's the... Let's see if I can actually put him in his seat. So they help you fight both hunger and cravings, and they promote fat loss by helping balance hormones as well. So remember, it's not just about the training and the nutrition. We've, um, we've got a hormonal piece of the puzzle as well. Um, so why are we talking about toenails? That's so strange. Okay, can you say hi? We're gonna put Warren in his seat and give him some blueberries there. So the first reason why I love BCAAs is quite frankly because they help with stress <laughs> and as a busy mom who has a um, little guy in his high chair right now who's whining as you can hear and a three-nager upstairs who's pouting this morning um, I can relate to stress okay so double tap show me the heart so you double tap like on your screen if you have felt stressed at any point this week or maybe this morning yeah, okay, the hearts are coming in. It's like, it's just a mom life, isn't it? Like stress, it happens. Yeah, so um, hearts, if you feel stressed at some point this week, maybe even this morning. Okay, so BCAAs are awesome for helping with stress because they lower cortisol. You had a meltdown last night, I'm sorry. A three-year-old and a two-year-old, yeah. Ah, uh, it's crazy, isn't it? Um, stress when your baby doesn't sleep, stress to the max. Okay, so you need to try BCAAs and here's why. BCAAs lower cortisol. Now, cortisol is a stress hormone. I'm gonna try and bring this up so I can get super close to you. It's a stress hormone that as busy moms, we are just all too familiar with, okay? Um, the main functions of cortisol are to increase your blood sugar, to suppress your immune system, ugh, and to aid in protein, fat, and carbohydrate metabolism. So cortisol in and of itself isn't bad, but it's when cortisol levels stay elevated. They stay high for an extended period of time. You do not want your immune system suppressed for an extended period of time, right? You don't want blood sugar increased for an extended period of time. So when you're like stressed, when you're like a mom, right? And it's like low sleep, high stress, day after day after day after day, you need something that's going to help you lower your cortisol. Now, are there things you can do with your training? Absolutely. Yoga, leisurely walks, uh, lifestyle factors like just getting enough sleep are very important to help you manage your stress. But sometimes, like, we just cannot get enough sleep. Like, let me show you this boy. Can you say, I don't like to let my mom sleep? <laughs> so, like, sometimes you just can't right? So um, you need you need something that's going to help you lower your cortisol, even on those times when you can't get in your walks, when you can't get your sleep. And, um, you know, you've probably heard and seen floating all over the internet, like cortisol contributes to belly fat storage. Have you seen that? Um, give me by a show of hearts. Are you interested in talking more about belly fat storage? If you are, show me some hearts and maybe we'll do that as another scope topic. Yeah. Okay. So when cortisol levels are, um, they're kind of released, right? And they're high over time. Um, and you have high insulin levels in, in that as well. What happens is that your body starts burning muscle and storing fat. So high levels of cortisol over a, an extended period of time cause muscle burning, which you don't want to lose that hard earned muscle. And it also causes fat storage, which you do not want either. So I love BCAAs because they actually impact cortisol levels straight at a hormonal level 
level. Um, they help to lower cortisol. And in addition, they help to suppress stress cravings and kind of blunt hunger. So first reason why I love them, my, <laughs> my fingers are stained from feeding warm blueberries. Um, yes, same for men. Same, same, same thing for men. Um, Patrick does BCAAs as well. You can use a pill or um, I'll show you my favorite in a minute that I mix in water. But the first is lowering cortisol, and these are my blueberry fingers. The second is BCAAs actually balance brain chemistry. So this one's really, really cool. BCAAs, without getting like too technical and too geeky on you, um, like I said, I have my degree in exercise physiology, so when it comes to being like a total nerd about fitness and fat loss, that's me. Um, but I'm gonna try and keep it like somewhat, somewhat cool and just tell you that BCAAs are precursors to some of our brain stimulating chemical hormones. And and actually our number one relaxing chemical, which is GABA, G-A-B-A, and you can look that up. But um, BCAAs are actually a precursor to GABA and some of the other chemicals in our brain that help us to feel relaxed. So like, give me a show of hearts if you could use something that helps you feel relaxed. Yeah, like what busy mom doesn't need some extra help relaxing, right? <laughs> um, so it's really cool because um, BCAAs, they actually, um, I'm gonna give some more. We just got frozen blueberries and he loves them. He's teething, so they really help. Um, so they actually stop cravings before they even start, which is really, really cool. So in addition to lowering cortisol, that's number one. And number two is balancing brain chemistry. Um, the third reason why I love, now both my hands have blueberries. <laughs> The third reason why I love BCAAs is that they help control hunger. So um, it's not just about training, it's not just about nutrition. When you want to make fitness and fat loss a lifestyle, you also have to look at lifestyle factors like energy, like we blew the like hunger, right? Like cravings. And um, BCAAs are like at a chemical level, they've been shown to help balance blood sugar and activate um, some different molecules in your brain that actually help with hunger and cravings, okay? So um, those are the three reasons why I like BCAAs. And comments are coming in, I'm kind of missing them, so save them for the end, and I'll, um, I'll make sure we answer all your questions, okay? So I love BCAAs because they lower cortisol, they help to balance, Warren is eating these blueberries like crazy. They help to balance brain chemistry, and they help to, do you wanna see them real quick? Can you say hi? And they also help to control hunger, okay? So um, BCAAs are like my secret weapon. They're like my best friend, especially if you're kind of lowering carbs or you're at a naturally stressed kind of point in your life. They're very helpful. So that's what my secret weapon is, BCAAs. Um, why I love it, three reasons, right? Now let me tell you how I use it, how much I take. I take five grams, and this is what I recommend to all my clients, five grams for the first 100 pounds. And then from there, each additional 50 pounds is like another five grams. So I would recommend my clients to do that, like sipping on that throughout the day. And then um, around your training, so like on days that you're strength training, I take like five to 10 grams pre post workout so I'll like mix up some in my shaker and I'll take that he is like a blueberry monster do you hear him do you hear him and I'll take that um, on my training day so it's amazing like I said for lowering cortisol helping your body recover from your workouts um, and then just general stress of like living the mom life and um, also with hunger and cravings um, a personal tip like I get the munchies um, in the afternoons, like typically when my kids go down for a nap, sometimes they nap, sometimes they don't. Pray today that they will nap for me. Um, but I get the munchies and like that's a time I have such a sweet tooth that I just wanna like raid the pantry. So I'll mix some BCAAs. Um, yeah, even on days I don't train, I'll mix some BCAAs into my um, shaker cup and I'll sip on those like throughout the afternoon. My favorite um, flavor, and you can see this here, it's strawberry margarita and it's really, really good. Um, yeah, so we did not talk about the difference between BCAAs and Ignite yet, but we can. Um, the difference simply is that Ignite is a pre-workout, so it's gonna have caffeine, it's gonna have stuff to give you a boost. Um, the BCAAs, I take it any time throughout the day. So like, I'll have BCAAs, I'll have a 
strawberry margarita at night um, in the evening and it's not going to mess with your sleep it's not going to keep you up um, that's the biggest difference yeah so the pre-workout you want to kind of limit that to um, the morning or like around your workout and you want to make sure that it doesn't affect your sleep um, so those are the benefits of BCAAs. Those are my hands <laughs> when I take them and why I take them. Um, yes, absolutely. Um, because your stress hormones and all those other hormones are so out of whack, um, definitely, you know, obviously you want to talk to your doctor, but um, that I've seen great progress um, with women who have like hypothyroid issues and use this supplement. Yeah. So um, by a tap of hearts, was this helpful to you? Did you like kind of learning about this? So yesterday, now um, the first supplement that I recommend is, is protein, hands down. Um, and I don't like to give you expensive pee. I don't like to make you take a bunch of pills that you don't need. Um, but if you were going to look into upping your supplement, intake, BCAs are the second thing on my list. I take whey protein and BCAs every day. Um, and again, you know, just a reminder, the big rocks are training and nutrition and hormones. So um, supplements are a small rock and you have to have your big stuff in place first. So you have to be consistent with your training. You have to be fixing those fat fighting hormones with lifestyle factors, with nutrition. Um, your nutrition has to be on point. So five grams for the first 100 pounds, and then another five grams for each additional 50 pounds after your 100 pounds. So like if you're 150 pounds, you take five grams for your first 100 pounds, and then another five grams because you're 150, so that'd be 10 grams. And then I also will like increase that on the days around my workout. So I'll take like five to 10 grams just around my workout as well. Yeah, um, like I usually, it's, it's really based on taste. I usually do it in like an eight ounce shaker cup um, and I put like my scoop and a half in there. But you could, you know, if you like it strong, you can mix it in a little water. If you like it really watered down, a ton of water. Um, I really like the flavor. It's a good way to kind of get, it tastes like fat loss Kool-Aid really. Um, or go to Beyond Fit Mom, so go to Google and type in Beyond Fit Mom BCAA gummies and you'll learn more about the benefits of BCAAs and I'll show you a video on that blog post about how to make um, gummies, which are amazing. I don't do crystal light. Um, I just, I do plain water or I'll do like lemon or lime or something in that, or I'll do my BCAAs. Yeah. Um, what other questions do you have? So a couple of things, hearts, if this was helpful, do you like this type of stuff? Are you interested in, yeah, I'll post a link on the Facebook page. They're actually on, I found a couple places that are on sale right now. Um, so go to Facebook and search Beyond Fit Mom. And as soon as I wrap this call up, I'll go and post a link um, so you can find the deal that I saw online with them on sale. Um, okay, so it, hearts, this was interesting. Tomorrow, we will talk about supplement number three that I take that I recommend for all of my clients. And um, that'll be tomorrow. Actually, all week we're talking about supplements. But I have another um, scope planned at 11, which is like, <laughs> just a few minutes from now. Um, my plan is to finish feeding Warren. This is like his morning snack. And then I'm gonna put him up to bed and I'm gonna come back down and jump on and we're just gonna chat. Some of my Beyond Fit trainers, if you're a personal trainer, um, you need to jump on the scope because we're gonna be talking about fitness business, why we do what we do. And I'll be sharing a little bit more about my story in terms of who I am, how I started Beyond Fit, and we'll be chatting there. So I think Claire's on and she's going to be on in um, a few minutes too. But I want you to swipe right to share this broadcast. Will you please share this? Because too many um, ladies are missing. We got some like weird stuff going on here. Too many ladies are missing this information. 11 a.m. Eastern. So like seriously 40 minutes from now. Like just enough time for me to put Warren, feed Warren and put him down to bed. Um, but too many ladies are wasting um, so much Swipe up if you're on Android. Thank you, thank you. 
if you're on iPhone, swipe right. If you're on Android, swipe up and share, please. You can share the link. You can share it to your Periscope followers, to Twitter, whoever. But it's just like I hate seeing people spend money when they don't need to. And um, the fitness industry is just filled with like they're like wolves, like just trying to pounce on you and get you to buy stuff. Um, so I would love for you to share this with your girlfriends, with fellow moms, um, anybody who you think might benefit from knowing like, yes, you know, supplements are a small rock, um, but there are a few things that are worth, you know, your time and your investment, and there are a lot of things that are crap and that you don't need to spend money on. So this week, we're going to be talking about all of that. You can see my tired little boy. Jackson, do you want to say hi? He said no, he does not want to say hi. Um, so, oh, thanks, you're the best too. I love our little Beyond Fit family. Um, so let's see, by a show of hearts, um, this was helpful, yes? Okay, um, and we'll talk again tomorrow about supplement number three. I'll try to do it a little bit early. What time do you guys like? We're still trying to figure out what time works best for everybody. Um, and I'll be on as soon as I feed this guy and put him down at 11 EST, and we'll do a longer Q&A, and I'll tell you more about me um, then. Does that sound good? 10 a.m. works for you. 10 or 11 is great. Um, Oh, thanks. Well, same to you. Same. Respect, respect. Love you. Um, this is a good time. Okay. Okay. So will you guys get on in just a few minutes? Let me go feed this boy and um, put him down for his nap, and then I'll jump back on, and we can do a and a I'll answer anything that I didn't get to, tell you a little bit more about me. Um, where? What do you want to see? Where should Where should we scope from? Any Any requests? They said sleep good. Can you say thank you? Can you say thank you? <laughs> thank you. Okay. Uh, well, I love you guys. And I'll get on in just a few minutes. Okay, you'll watch the replay. And we can talk more. If you can't get on at 11, make sure you join us and plan to join us tomorrow morning. Um, I think I'm going to do it early. We'll try like 9 a.m. So I've been playing around with the times this week to see what works best for everybody. And go to my Facebook page, Beyond Fit Mom, and make sure you share, 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 share. Warren says, please share. Please share. And hearts for Warren. Can he get some hearts? Yeah. Jackson, do you want to see the hearts real quick? Say hi. You want to say hi? Hearts if you are a mom who can relate to a three-nager. You don't want to say hi? Nobody? No? Okay. They say hi, Jackson. <laughs> Guys, this is like how the day's going. It's Yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> okay, we'll talk to you later.